what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Today I'm joined by Surgical Goblin back on the channel. Surge, what's up, man? How you doing? Yo, what's up? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, man. Uh, as I said before, really enjoying the update. Can't wait for this next global tournament. I have no idea when it's going to be. What, what do you think of the update so far? So far, I'm actually, yeah, really loving it. I think it's really interesting. And personally, I've been watching, like, so many global tournaments, like, matches, yeah. life. Can you believe uh, uh, Fire uh, Air Surfer with the 90? Mm -hmm. Was it 90, right? 90 wins? Yeah, 90, 90. Dude, yeah, it's insane. <laughs> it's the power of Expo, though, because you can always bring it to a draw, right? Like, mm -hmm. worst case scenario, yeah, yeah. In, in draws don't penalize you. Yeah, exactly. And right now, especially with the buff of, like, the Arches and the Tesla, it's even more consistent yeah. right now. Absolutely. I hope to get him on the channel soon. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this deck that you guys may have seen Little Chen play in the CRL World Finals for Nova Esports. Uh, Surge has been playing this deck. He's currently 9-0 in a Grand Challenge. We're going to try to finish that off live for you guys and talk about strategy tips and advice. Surge, like, where to start with this deck, man? Tell me a little bit about... Uh, how you're playing this and also i know this was actually around before little chen played it so when's the first time you you saw this deck yeah so actually the first time i saw this deck was from a japanese player and he actually used it with giant skeleton instead of mega knight okay um but then like basically where I, the first time i saw it like being used like seriously i guess of course like the japanese player probably plays like gcs and stuff with it mm -hmm. but in the world finals as you just mentioned which was yeah kind of mind-blowing for me it was insane and, Actually, like, he also beat, yeah, a pretty difficult matchup for Bait in general. Like, uh, he beat, like, a, I believe, giant triple spell deck, like, with this deck. So, it definitely got my attention, especially because, personally, I love, like, Bait, yeah, type of decks, like, with the Princess. Sure. So, this deck is really interesting just because, well, it basically has six Bait cards. Well, kind of, yeah, six spell Bait cards. Not necessarily lock Bait cards, just because yep. Bait, of course, like, doesn't, yeah, Bait out the lock. But the Zep and Lockbait, you just have so many different options with the yeah. Princess, Dark Goblin, Skeleton Army, um, and of course the <laughs> Goblin Barrel, kind of like your win condition. Um, mm -hmm. And then the Royal Giant and Mega Knight actually have an insane, yeah, good synergy together. I was That's so surprised. weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. me personally, I was actually surprised. Just because, uh, well, normally, like, you would think, why would they have a good synergy? But for example, against Pekka decks, you can, yeah, basically outplay them with, for example, if they use the Pekka, like, on the Royal Giant, and you go opposite lane with, let's say, I don't know, Mega Knight Goblin Gang, Mega Knight Bat, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, they are forced to respond to that. And most of the times, they will not have that uh, much elixir because they just invest it into the P.E.K.K.A. Um, and then at the same time, you can just defend, like, the counter push of the P.E.K.K.A. Because, of course, the P.E.K.K.A. doesn't die, like, it killed the Royal Giant. You can defend it really easily with, for example, Skeleton Army, Goblin Gang. Yeah, uh, Even just swarm. bats. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even just bats. Like, if he, if he doesn't support the P.E.K.K.A., because, obviously, like, he has to defend the other lane, even bats can just kill a P.E.K.K.A. on its own. So, that deck actually, or those two cards, I mean, yeah, actually synergizes really well. All right, man. Well, let's hop into that GC, and I'll ask mm -hmm. you a few more questions about the deck. I guess the first question, as you're searching here, is going to be... Uh, what do you do? You, are you looking at Royal Giant as your main win condition in this deck, or is it is it more Goblin Barrel Bait, you know, or is it Mega Knight? I'm confused at what you, or does it change with every matchup? Mm, I mean, I guess it does depend on the matchup. I'm searching by the way. It just it's okay, takes yeah, off. no worries. I feel like the yeah, search so, times have, have gotten kind of worse lately. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just me, but anyway. Yeah, I also noticed that like during my videos, sometimes it takes like four minutes or something. In tournaments <laughs> too, though, in the private tournament system. Anyway, but mm -hmm. that's another, get back to the deck here. My, my yeah, viewers exactly. like, so right. to answer your question, uh, yeah, I guess it does depend on the matchup because, well, in some matchups, I guess like Royal Giant, you have to use it more as a defensive card. For example, like I'm in a match, by the way, yeah. uh, for example, against 2.9, like Expo, you won't really use Royal Giant offensive because it's basically the main yeah counter to their win condition. Mm -hmm. uh, in some decks, if they, for example, don't have lock, like you try to have a tank for your Goblin Barrel and then the Goblin Barrel is like your main yeah win condition damage dealer. So I guess it does depend on the matchup, but I guess this deck just has multiple... Um, yeah, win conditions, yeah. obviously. You can kind of use what you need. And the Mega Knight, I'm, I'm assuming, is going to be a huge factor in this deck because of all the spam meta right there. Like, that Barb Hut deck recruits everywhere, it seems like. And there they are, mm -hmm. right on cue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so interesting. Yeah so, yeah, so him using the Barbell, I just decided to go with an offset Dart Goblin. I feel like he actually spent quite a lot of Elixir, yeah. knowing that the Royal Recruits are 7 Elixir. Um... Dark Goblin will survive. I'll actually go with a Royal Giant over here. Let's see what he has, like what else he has like to defend mm -hmm. this. And this uh, could, especially this could be Dark Goblin still alive. Sorry. Mm -hmm. This could be a dumb yeah. question, but Royal Giant, are you ever playing him ever in the back with this deck? Um to be honest, so far I haven't. Probably really not, done yeah. That. 
Yeah, most of the times you play the aggressive with either counter push, like I did right now with mm -hmm. Dark Goblin, uh, or just like as a punishment. For example, if they drop, I don't know, back in the back, Golem in the back, something like that. Okay, same same question, Mega Knight. Are you ever playing him in the back, or is it always going to be taking advantage of his enter arena uh, ability? I, I, actually, I, I does I do play the Mega Knight sometimes in the back. I don't really like. I can't really tell. Oh, oops, I actually should have put that one to higher. Yeah. Uh, I can't really tell what situation exactly, but I do remember me putting it sometimes. Like, okay, yeah. Maybe if you have a no plays and a huge elixir lead or something. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. So another recruit play here, and it looks like he's he's got to be low. You've got to have a huge elixir lead, I feel like, in this match. What do you think? Mm, I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think right now, like, I spent quite a lot of elixir to counter it. Pretty good poison on his part. I think right now we're about equal, but mm -hmm. I do have yeah, a really, yeah, pretty big um, damage advantage. Damage lead, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And now you go into double elixir time. So in uh, you haven't used the goblin barrel yet. And there it is, right on cue. <laughs> so, let me ask you about Goblin Barrel. When is, are you, how often are you playing the Goblin Barrel in combination with the Royal Giant? Mm. In double extra sometimes, or, or is it rare? Is it, are you, is it kind of separate? Actually, usually I try to um, do it to finish off games. Okay. Or right now, like I outcycled this uh, Bar Barrel and like the uh, Mega Knight is still tanking. Perfect. That's why I decided to go with a Goblin Barrel. Bed is also able to get some cheap damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you guys can see, like, even though he does have poison, even though he does have bar barrel, we just have so many bait cards. Like, it's just, <laughs> yeah, just so annoying for him. Like, to be honest, like, just so annoying for him to. He's yeah. playing. He's playing a deck that could really be annoying too. If you guys look at it, right? He's got the furnace and recruits and ban a lot of bridge spam in there too. But really, surge hasn't had any issues. Mm -hmm. it, exactly. Just yeah. because you have so many answers, and right now, like, he used the bar barrel offensive, trying to do something, but I just, yeah, have so many answers, like, Eris Karmi, Goblin Gang, and then at the same time, he doesn't have an answer for my barrel again, so I was able to take down his right to tower. Yeah, heck, man. GG. All right, let's go into the next one. Hopefully, it mm -hmm. won't be another three minute. If it is long uh, search time, guys, I'm going to edit this one out just, just for you guys. Yeah, for sure. But as. Uh, oh, 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 wait. Look at that. The Clash Gods mm -hmm. have smiled upon us. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I thought it was Sam Ewell, not Sam Unal. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, so we'll flash the uh, the Royal Ghost there and go into this next match. So starting plays, I'm assuming it'd be the same as like maybe a bait deck, right? With with Princess mm -hmm. in the back or a Goblin Barrel. Yeah, like right now my starting end is Goblin Gang, Dark Goblin, Bets, Mega Knight. So usually with a bait deck, I would do the same, like split, for example, Goblin Gang in the back. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, like a Princess in the back uh, or just a Goblin Barrel, like on the side, kind of like the safe spot. Okay, cool. And I'm assuming... So I... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Ice Wizard... Tells me that he most likely has Tornado in the same deck, also with the Baby Dragon yeah. there. So I kind of need to watch out with my Golden Barrel placements. Um, yeah, just because I don't want to give him like an easy activation. So let's actually go with a Golden Barrel to the side. Looks like he did go with his Bar Barrel as well. Okay, so now I don't think... Okay, nice. Uh... Oh, he doesn't get it. Nice. Good job. And then you immediately go with a, the uh, Royal Giant. Just kind of an idea that he was yeah, low. like. Yeah. Yeah, and also he used a tornado, and actually bats are so powerful. Uh, powerful, excuse me. Yeah. If your opponent doesn't have uh, zap, and in this case, like he already showed the purple, he already used the tornado, so that's why I went in right away with the royal giant to tank for my bats just to be able to get that. Yeah. Trying actually, to capitalize on that bat value. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. I, I think that one would you like one thing that I kind of. I don't know if I struggle with when playing a deck like this. I don't know if struggle is the right word, but one time is maybe I'm a little bit slow on identifying when to put that Royal Giant down. Sometimes, especially in single elixir time, it feels mm -hmm. like it might be a little bit too aggressive, you know? Because it's just like Graveyard. You know that whatever they defend the Royal Giant with is coming back at you, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. There, I actually made a big mistake. I thought yeah, I that his him. tornado was out of cycle. <laughs> so I, I I tried to trick him like with a bar pill, but he actually cycled back to... Um, yeah, his tornado, he actually cycles pretty quick. I'm not sure if this is a golem deck or a royal giant deck. So this is actually an example of when I would play like the Mega Knight in the back. Okay. He just used his Ice Wizard and we're yeah hitting double elixir. Mm -hmm. So again, not sure if this is golem or royal giant. Right? Um, is it graveyard? I have no idea. Actually, graveyard. Could be, yeah, it actually could be graveyard. So here I actually use the Mega Knight royal oh. giant combination. <laughs> Dude, this might... is going to be brutal. Look at this Mega Knight tearing it up. Pretty good nade on his part, but Royal Giant is still um, get quite healthy. Not sure if he will use his Barber or something. No, looks like he doesn't. So again, I will use my Mega Knight in the back, kind of. Mm -hmm. Royal Giant will even take the tower, I think. Not oh, really close to the tower. Unfortunately, this deck doesn't have I a spell, was gonna so say, I still, yeah. I was going to say, that's the only downside at this point with the deck, is that 
He might take Oof. your tower. Okay. No. Nope. Looks like you're going to be able to defend here, thankfully. That was close. Yeah. We still have the princess in the left side. I think I will just go with the aggressive Roy Giant over here, mm -hmm. trying to finish it off. <laughs> and I think I can even out cycle his Barbara. I'm not sure, but let's try. I'm not sure if he cycled back. No, I think now he cycled back, but maybe not in time. Oh! No, he is in time. <laughs> Dude, this guy, you gotta, he's clinging on to life. Oh, man, you got to hand it to him. Good. <laughs> Dude, 14 <laughs> HP on the on the uh, tower is killing me here, man. Yeah, me too. I mean, as I said, I think I already said it like in the beginning, but it's definitely yeah a disadvantage of this deck. Yeah. It, okay. Maybe. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Nice bats there too. He poison graveyard. So now he. I think Frank has him here, guys. Finally. He will tombstone though. I think he can still defend this one. He's gonna NATO. You got Princess on that left tower. She's like, hey, I'll take care of this tower. Yeah, also, I don't know if you noticed it, but I placed my uh, Royal Giant a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Just so the Baby Dragon won't tank for... Um, the bat. Gotcha. Uh, for, for the graveyard, for the graveyard. Gotcha. So here I'm actually going with Royal Giant in the left side, just because we still have a quite healthy Mega Knight here, and he needs mm -hmm. to spend so much Elixir to defend both, so that's why I decided to pressure there him in the uh, left side. <laughs> so finally, it's right, the tower's going Mega Knight back. seals the deal. <laughs> yeah. Man, that was that was brutal though with 14 hit points on the tower, you know. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's go into the last one, man, or or maybe not the last one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I I always say the same. I, videos, I know, right? Like... <laughs> Potentially the last one. Here we go. Uh -huh. do, what do you think of the star level uh, skins, uh, Surge? Do you, are you a fan? Do you think they're distracting? Like I think it seems like some people think they're distracting. Some people really love them. Well, how do you feel? Well, personally, I think they are really cool, like the effects. Like, for example, I upgraded my Goblin Barrel, but I do um, find it kind of distracting, like, in the hand that, uh, like, for example, right now in my deck, the only card I have with Star Points Double is Goblin Barrel. barrel. Yeah. So, so sometimes it looks like I have it selected when I, yeah, don't. I gotcha. So that's what you find most distracting. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. So now you're going against a Golem deck. Here we go. Yeah, so Golem is actually with, with this deck, in my opinion, or maybe not. I think it's actually uh, Becca Rem. Oh, but okay. Gol Golem, in my opinion, is actually, well, this is not Golem, but in general, like, Golem, in my opinion, is one of the most annoying matchups, especially if they have poison, since the deck doesn't really have, um, yeah, like a, like a heavy, beat, like, a, mm -hmm. like, for example, Inferno Jagan, for example, Hunter, stuff like that. Yeah, it seems like this deck is pretty much, has matchup advantage over most meta decks, except for, like you said, Golem, probably, mm -hmm. but... Anyway, if you win this one, because the video will be so short, I'll uh, I'll play you with Golem and you can show us your best strategy. <laughs> You're probably okay, so there, there yeah. I thought he would actually back out, like the Mega Knight, so that's why I went with Roja and Aggressive when I only had 6 Elixir. Okay. Actually, really well played on his part with the Lumberjack and then Goblin Gang. I think mm -hmm. I would just take the damage on both sides. If not, it will be quite a lot of damage. We'll bring down tower to like 1700. Mm -hmm. A little bit less. Yeah. Okay. You might Are you actually... taking a... You're taking a little bit of damage. He uh, nice log on his part here, but his army's ready to go. That's the beauty of the bait in the deck, obviously. Mhm. Mm yeah, exactly. This, and then st still, still yeah. dark goblin. You think he would just ignore it? Yeah. Especially yeah. because I'm already going for the right to tower. Hmm. Interesting matchup here. Yeah. And again, if he does have that Pekka, which we're kind of assuming, mm -hmm. he's got a great, you know. I don't know, counter to your win conditions. So getting around it will be interesting. So here you go. Just sends in the Goblin Barrel here. You're going to get a little bit more chip damage on that right tower. So here I'm Mega Knight, thank for and the Baby Dragon, but then afterwards also counter um, the Any, Goblin Gang. Yeah, yeah. And then and, right away I'll and, pressure again with the Royal Giant, forcing him to ear Pekka. So now he actually decides to Pekka left side. So then he has to, well, he does have the Lumberjack. Most of the Pekka decks don't really have that. Yeah, Pekka Lumberjack, interesting. This could be tough. I think he will prediction look on the right side, so I will actually let the better him hit, and then I will Mega Knight. Nice. Well played there. Hmm. So it's interesting. Uh, do you like could you could you even could you potentially like juke out a uh ooh, nice connect nice momentary connection with those goblins there? And you get Mega Knight to the tower. And he does damage to the uh Lumberjack. So that was good. Now you just have to defend here. Easier yep. said than done, depending on how he does, how he plays this. Ooh, lightning. Ooh, that hurt. But I think he will... Okay, so he doesn't go with his Pekka. He does have to look. So I thought there he would actually Pekka. Um, Ooh. 
Yeah. And then he wouldn't have enough elixir to lock. Like he would drop the Pekka with seven elixir, and then the goblins still all of them get a step. Yeah. So here's so that Pekka. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. I think this GG because he would just lightning. Probably. So you're staying like super aggressive, trying to make him spend a lot of elixir instead of lightning right off the bat here. I think he had, yeah he has the cycle here with lightning right now. I don't. Yeah. No, I can, there it I can is. Block it. All right, GGs. That was a tough one, man. With the mm -hmm. lumberjack yeah. and Pekka, I actually like that deck that he was running. For those of you who mm -hmm. are looking for a good kind of Pekka control bridge spam deck. Uh, yeah. But okay, sounds good. Now we can get our Golem matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully All right, let's see what we get. All right, here we go, guys. Found our 12th match. It's 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 Jerry. <laughs> That's just, <laughs> just his Jerry? name. Just his name. <laughs> <laughs> or Gary. Jerry. I'm going to go Jerry. Anyway, here we go. Oh, dude, Surge, did you get the, the CRL emote? Yeah. Yeah, I got uh, it. I actually like it a lot. I think it's I really didn't, cool. I didn't. It's my only emote I don't have because... I was there at the event and I, didn't, I wasn't ah, like yeah. watching. I couldn't claim it. So I'm going to, I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm being a big baby yeah, about yeah. this uh, surge. I think I might <laughs> complain to Supercell. Be like, hey, can I, can you throw me a bone here? I was there. I was watching. Uh -huh, anyway, exactly. anyway, here we go. So you start with, with all your bait cards. He's definitely playing you for a bait deck at this point. Uh, yeah. And it's again a Pekka matchup. This time different though. Uh -huh. um, with the Ewis. Last time he had Baby Dragon, Lumberjack. So this time Ewis and Bandit. Mm -hmm. Oh, he actually gives me a pretty good. Oh, wow, really? Mega good Mega oh, player. yeah. Not sure if he used a lock or something. I actually forgot. Mm, nope. So let's see if he uses it right now. It's like, That's why I'm waiting with this my is Goblin MVP Girl. Dark Goblin over here, man. <laughs> yeah, Dark Goblin is actually insane. Like, in some yeah. situations, it's just so crazy. So let's see. Yeah, he does have the lock, so. He definitely is back. I feel like I'm up quite a bit of elixir, so I'm not sure if this is the right play here, but I'm actually going for a Royal Giant Goblin game. Okay. This is the Pekka. So Royal Giant, even if he draws a Pekka, still usually gets uh, two hits. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even three, but in this case, two. And look at that Goblin game. Takes the Pekka down to 50% HP. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so dropping Princess to the other lane. And he has nothing for that. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was great. That was a great call. Playing the playing Royal Giant into a P.E.K.K.A. Not something you usually see a lot of players do, but that was a good. That was a smart move there. He knew he had log out of cycle. He went in with the the Royal Giant and the Goblin Gang. So here again, I would just go for Mega Knight, and especially oh, he also poisoned. So Ooh. he thought I would actually scar me there. So he actually thought I was uh, yeah down elixir there, like because I went with Royal Giant, and then mm -hmm. also. Uh, the Goblin Gang right after, so here I'm actually, again, like, split lane crushing. He does go with an E-Wisp, but I feel like he doesn't have enough for P.E.K.K.A., so as you can see, he will go with his Goblin Gang. Not sure if this Dark Goblin will die, actually. No, will not. Ooh. You never know. You never know with the, uh... Do need to watch out here? Yep. But I think it's fine. Okay. Mm, he did choose to look, so I can go with the Goblin Barrel, like, counter push with the Spear Goblin. Should be able to get quite a bit of chip damage over there. Really nice E-Wisp timing on his part, actually. Hitting and, all of those goblins. And obviously, this is like such rudimentary advice, guys. But you're you're seeing how Surgical never plays more than one swarm card at a time. Always patient, making sure he gets those spells out of rotation before he drops another one. All right. So he'll probably prediction. Yeah, I shouldn't have dropped the. Also, he will poison. I think. Only he doesn't. Oof. Okay, so he did use the um, the lock again. So again, going for the counter push with the goblin barrel. Good goblin gang on his part. I think here I should be able to get quite a good of a Mega Knight. Hopefully he gets aggressive. No, okay, he's so I, will, I will not use the Mega Knight. I will actually keep it because last time it actually almost cost me. Right, yeah, yeah. That was a good call. Good call to keep it last, last time. We saw how dangerous that can be. All right, so now you have to deal with this P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, I will just pressure and then like, um, knowing that he just used the P.E.K.K.A. should be a good game, especially because he missed the lock there as well. Yeah. And that was an, another kind of noteworthy thing here. I know I'm mentioning super obvious stuff, guys, but, you mm -hmm. know, in that situation, uh, w as soon as the opponent started to pressure Surge there, he threw the Goblin Barrel right away to force them to use a log on defense instead of offense there. Then he could use a Skarmy. Really nice. Really well played there, uh, Surge. Mm -hmm. Thank All right, you very man. much. Let me, uh, hey, I, I told the viewers I would play a Golem deck against you. Let's go <laughs> ahead and do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Uh... Yeah, and feel free to kind of just uh, narrate all, <laughs> all the ways that you're uh, you're kicking my ass. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck. Ah, good luck, man. Give you the pancakes. That's my newest emote. I uh, 
I, I like one. this one. I bought I, one I of the see ones. no one using it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, you like the bomber one? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Bomber. Oh man, you got you got all your spectators watching. Not cool, man. I feel like it's <laughs> champion face off on Surgical Goblin YouTube. Okay, <laughs> not not really. <laughs> okay, let's see. So night witch. Tank with that. Hate to poison here, but I'm gonna anyway. I'm gonna get my lumberjack. I can see what you're talking about already. Even the noob that I am, how how this matchup could be difficult for you. Yeah, I think in this match, like out of experience, it just I need to keep like the pressure. Okay. Because I can't really defend. Well, right now I'm giving you tips, but I can't really defend the big golem push with poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't gonna. I was gonna do that anyway. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh no. Can you do this, guys? Does this work, or is it like giant? We're about to see. Oh no, he called it. Oh, you can't activate with Mega Knight, huh? Mm, I don't think so. Apparently I mean, not. Yeah, I, I tried to not let the Mega Knight hit my tower, but yeah, in this case, like, it would have been cool if you could do it. Are you gonna just, like, three crown me? <laughs> <laughs> I think I will, I will go for it. <laughs> oh yeah? Tower trade, buddy. All right. <laughs> Is it bad that I think that uh, <laughs> I'm happy that I got a tower down, even though you have my king tower down to 417? He doesn't have a big spell, guys. It's, it's all part of the strategy. Also, you don't have my tower yet. That's true, too. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> okay, so I shouldn't... That was tough, man. Oh, dude. This is not okay, cool, you, man. You, you this is not cool. Tower. You won't take my tower. <laughs> this is not cool at all, bro. You're supposed to at least you're not supposed to make me look this bad on my YouTube channel. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. <laughs> well played. Not yet. Not yet, man. I'm not ready to go yet. And now Mega Knight me. Go ahead. I know you want to. Just hit me. <laughs> OP. All right. There it is. There it is. Yeah, it should be G G. What are you gonna giant me? I mean Royal Giant. What are you? Okay. This. No big deal. Pull this away. Oh, 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 that goblin! <laughs> the one goblin. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you, okay. You tricked me, man. <laughs> You're like, I can't defend a golem push. And I was like, okay. Well, I mean, I, 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 meant in double I meant in double elixir. Oh, dude. All right. <laughs> it is what it is. But the only reason I go in there, I was like, hey, you can't defend it. I'm going to drop it. But hey, either way, man, that was a good. I mean, strategically, you would have hit the opposite lane there, even in double elixir, if I had dropped a golem. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, for you... sure. And also, I went with a goblin gang. Uh, because you used your barbell like on the goblin barrel there, yeah. so I basically knew like you couldn't yeah basically defend that. So at least I could go for the tower and then do my best like with a skarmy or something uh, to defend your golem like as good as possible. Yeah, turns out you can't activate uh, with Mega Knight. I learned that today. <laughs> I learned that pro today. Tip. Uh, yeah, pro tip. I guess Mega Knight <laughs> and Giant. I thought it was only Giant, but I guess I was wrong there. <laughs> but hey, dude, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the channel again, Frank. I always appreciate you coming on. Do you have uh, anything coming up on your YouTube channel that you want to share about? I'm sure most of my subscribers are already aware and uh, faithful subscribers of you as well. But mm -hmm. uh, what do you have going on there, man? Mm, in two days, like I recorded today, I'm actually facing off Javi Catorcia. Well, Javi 14. Nice! Uh, for champion face off. So it was actually really, really close. Dude, you gotta get Javi <laughs> onto Team Liquid next year. Yeah, he's insane. He's actually insane. Cause he's uh he's a free agent. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I saw yeah. his tweet. Saw yeah, his tweet. man. All right. Well, it'd be interesting to see where he uh where he lands next year in the CRL. Mm -hmm. And also, I'll have to watch that champion face off. That's gonna be a good one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, man. Well, guys. Well, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it, uh, Serge. Thank you very much for the invitation. No problem, guys. That is going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, minus the uh, lackluster match at the end there by yours truly. <laughs> I hope you guys, <laughs> thank you for watching till the end, though. Guys, uh, good luck with the deck. The deck link, as always, will be in the description below, along with Surgical Goblins player stats and profile thanks to StatsRoyale.com. Huge shout out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information in the description below as well. Guys, thank you for watching, and as always, take care, guys.